Katie Holmes has made sure to shield her daughter from the press, but that doesn't extend to her dating life. So how does Suri Cruz feel about her mom's latest beau? While her divorce from Tom Cruise was not part of Katie Holmes' life plan, it brought her and Suri Cruz closer, and the two continue to be besties. Being a single mom is no easy feat, but Holmes makes it look almost effortless. A source told Us Weekly that their bond is unlike anything they've seen, revealing, "...you'd struggle to find a mom-daughter duo who are more in sync with each other. They're a real team. Their connection is a beautiful thing to witness." Having a special bond with her mom must bring Suri a lot of comfort since she doesn't have any apparent contact with her dad, which is reportedly a result of his religious affiliation. Cruz is a member of the Church of Scientology, and according to a former Scientologist, Samantha Domingo, members of the church aren't allowed to have relationships with anyone outside of the organization. And for Cruz, this might well include his daughter, she later told the magazine. Holmes adapted well to being a single parent, and she raised Suri to be a well-behaved and caring person, a source revealed adding that Suri doesn't resemble a spoiled celebrity kid. She's a great girl, and she's doing so well, um, and I'm enjoying this time. Suri is also very protective of her mom and often showers her with love and compassion when she's having a bad day. The source said, "...it's no exaggeration to say that Suri and Katie have saved each other. They really are wonderful together." When you're as famous as Katie Holmes, the whole world is constantly watching your every move. And when her divorce from Tom Cruise became public knowledge, Holmes' life became a tad more complicated than usual. She told In Style that it was a pretty intense time and that having Surrey mixed up in all of it made it more so. But despite all the craziness, Surrey remained her number one responsibility. She recalled going out to see the ballet at the Lincoln Center. Surrey was staying over at a friend's, but later that night she became homesick. Holmes said, "...at 10 o'clock I got a call. Mommy, can you come get me? I got a cab and went down to Battery Park to pick her up." Holmes has also been adamant about keeping her daughter out of the press and social media. If you scroll through her Instagram page, it isn't littered with pictures of her in Surrey. Holmes has kept her daughter's life private and out of the public eye. Holmes admitted in an interview with the Daily Telegraph that she makes a point of not discussing her daughter with the press. While Katie Holmes prefers to do most things under the radar, she clearly loves to go all out for Surrey's birthday. When Surrey turned 13, Holmes treated her to a luxurious dinner at the St. Ambrose restaurant in New York, after which she flew Surrey and two of her friends to Paris to celebrate, according to People. The following year, Surrey's birthday fell smack in the middle of the pandemic, which meant that flying to another part of the world wasn't an option. However, this didn't keep Holmes from making her daughter's birthday special. Speaking to ET Online, she revealed that they still had a very good time. I think when you have less, you, you, you're more creative." Holmes didn't reveal anything more than that, but she mentioned that the pandemic taught her in Surrey some life lessons, saying, "...this year has also been a reminder that the simple things are really beautiful. Those are the gifts of life." When 2021 rolled around, Holmes shared some candid photos of Surrey taken over the years on her Instagram page, which was rare for Holmes. She captioned the post, "...happy 15th birthday, sweetheart. I love you. I can't believe you are already 15." When the pandemic hit in full force, Katie and Surrey retreated to their lake house to wait it out. While the two already had a close bond, the lockdown brought them even closer. Holmes told Amazing Magazine that she and Surrey were fortunate enough to feel like they were on vacation. With an infinite amount of time at their disposal, they ended up watching Dirty Dancing about ten times. They also spent time cooking together and tackling some fun projects. In an article Holmes wrote for Vogue, she said, "...to live for a moment in time without the pressure of results and instead appreciate the natural rhythm of mother and daughter was the most precious gift. Katie Holmes and Surrey Cruz can probably write a book about the adventures they've been on. Not only does Surrey get to hop on planes to spend her birthday in other countries, but her mom takes her along on fun outings. In 2018, the two were spotted attending the American Ballet Theater Spring Gala together. Back in 2017, Surrey got the chance to introduce Taylor Swift at the New York City Z100 Jingle Ball alongside her mom. Surrey and Holmes also appear to be basketball fans and were seen at a game between the Detroit Pistons and the Los Angeles Lakers. When they're not cheering for their favorite team, the mother-daughter duo can be found frolicking on the beach. While Holmes rarely posts pictures of Surrey on social media, she did share a candid photo of them on the beach on her Instagram. Instagram page, and it's clear they were having tons of fun. While attending star-studded events and basketball games is amazing, Surrey and Holmes also enjoy spending time together at home. Holmes revealed in an interview with Shape, "...sometimes I work out with my daughter. It just depends on the day. We have our routines, and occasionally they overlap." I also just try to maintain a level of gratitude and um, happiness. Since her very public divorce from Tom Cruise, Katie Holmes has been pretty private about her love life. 
Rumors were flying in 2013 that she and Jamie Foxx were dating, but the most PDA anyone ever saw from the couple was them holding hands. They reportedly broke up two weeks after attending the Met Gala together in 2019, per Harper's Bazaar. Since then, Holmes has only publicly dated two other men, chef Emilio Vitolo Jr. and musician Bobby Wooten III. When you have a teenage daughter to think of, dating can be a bit complicated, but it appears that all Surrey Cruz wants is for her mom to be happy. Holmes has been very cautious when it comes to introducing a new man into her and her daughter's lives. A source told ET Online, Surrey has always been Katie's number one priority. She has the utmost respect for her daughter. They added that Holmes introduced Surrey to Wooten long before the media got wind of their relationship and that the two got along well. Katie Holmes continues to be a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry, and her latest project, Alone Together, has her fingerprints all over it. Holmes not only wrote the script, but also directed and somehow managed to star in the film as well. Alone Together is a romantic comedy that takes place during the pandemic, and the song that accompanies the opening credits, Blue Moon, is sung by Surrey Cruz. When asked about her daughter's stunning rendition of the song in an interview with Yahoo Entertainment, it was clear Holmes was proud as she revealed, I always want the highest level of talent so I asked her. She's very, very talented. She said she would do it, and she recorded it, and I let her do her thing. While it's incredibly exciting to know that Surrey's taken her first step into the world of entertainment, this actually wasn't the first project of her mom's that she collaborated on. Holmes revealed that Surrey also recorded a song for another film she worked on, titled Rare Objects. Katie Holmes is passionate about helping others, and that's why she's involved with various humanitarian projects. She told Shape, "...volunteering is something I incorporate into my life. I'm mindful of being part of my community, and I go to homeless shelters to help out." Naturally, she involves her daughter Surrey Cruz in these endeavors as well. One organization that's close to Holmes's heart is Artolution. This community-based public art organization aims to bring about social change using collaborative art. Holmes traveled with them to a refugee camp in Greece to get her hands dirty and help people in need. She took Surrey with her, and the two of them had a blast connecting with the people and taking part in various projects per people. Holmes took to Instagram to share pictures of the trip, posting one of Surrey playing with one of the children at the camp. Holmes told Shape, "...there are so many refugees all over the world, and it's incredible to see the strength of people who leave such dire circumstances to start over someplace else." Growing up in the spotlight can't be easy, and even though Katie Holmes has protected Surrey Cruz from the public eye as much as she can, the whole world still knows who she is. It's no surprise, then, that Holmes has made it a priority to ensure her daughter knows that she's allowed to be her own person. During an interview with InStyle, Holmes revealed that Surrey is, quote, "...strong-willed and curious." She's tried to set an example for Surrey to follow, telling the outlet that she grew to learn that being kind is the most important thing. She said, "...you should be kind because that's what people do, not because because you want people to think you are kind. When it came to raising Surrey, Holmes made sure her daughter knew that she was allowed to be herself. She says Surrey is growing up to be a strong girl with a fierce personality, but she's also adopted her mother's work ethic. Holmes revealed that once Surrey decides to do something, she works incredibly hard at it until she masters it, looking for the next challenge to tackle.